Hey folks out in social media world, it's your girl Shay and um, today is What's Up Wednesday and so I want to talk to you guys about today, um, who are you allowing to speak into your life? Who are you allowing to speak into your life? I've done so many videos on us being able to protect our eye gate and our ear gate. And today I feel compelled to just kind of talk about that a little more and ask you, who are you allowing to speak into your life? Because many times we allow people to speak into our life based on the relationship that we have with the person. It might be our friend, it might be our best friend, it might be our mother, our cousin, our brother, our sister, whoever. It might be whoever is speaking into your life, it may be our a relationship but the Bible in Psalms 1 and 1 it tells us blessed is the one who does not walk in the steps with the wicked that's the NIV version the King James Version says blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly and all that simply means is you are blessed if you do not take the advice of ungodly people and why is that a big deal because if you profess to be a Christian you love the Lord you are called according to his purpose and I don't mean call like oh you called to be a pastor or a minister you have a call on your life if it's just to uh, have hospitality towards somebody you are called by God you are his child of God if you profess that and you believe that you are in relationship with God then getting advice from ungodly people absolutely not we don't do that blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Why is God telling you that? Because when you take counsel from ungodly folks, they will speak things into your life that is contrary to the will of God for your life. And so we have to be very careful about that. We have to be very careful about that. And so today, maybe you have been taking counsel from folks for years, for months, for a day or so, but something in you has always said, that might not be a good thing. That might not be the best thing to do. Then I urge you today to change that. I urge you today to stop walking in the counsel of the ungodly. Stop it. Don't do it. Don't allow everybody to speak into your life. Discern if what somebody is giving you advice on is the will of God for your life. But also discern who you need to be taking advice from. Yeah, ask the Lord. Should I get advice from this person? Maybe the Lord will direct you to just get advice from him. That's fine. God does use people. So that's not to say that God won't allow somebody to speak into your life. But you just have to discern who is it that's speaking into your life. Are they godly or are they ungodly? The advice that they gave you, does it speak words of life? Is it aligned with the destiny that God has given unto you? Or does, is this something that's going to throw you off course for a long period of time? We got to be careful. Who is speaking into your life? Don't allow everybody to speak into your life. That is my What's Up Wednesday for today. As I always say, the word convicts here first. And I just had to realize some things in my life and people that I've had in my circle. And I'll also say this very quickly because I don't want to make this long. Sometimes people will speak into your life or we will allow people to speak into our life. But their motives for speaking into your life may be to keep you at a certain level because they could deal with you at that level. But if you was to ever get beyond that level, they wouldn't be able to deal with you. And so sometimes what they're speaking into your life could be manipulative, very calculated. Think about it. God has given me this, not just for me, but for you. So think about that. Again, What's Up Wednesday? It's your girl Shay. You can follow me on all the social media outlets. Everything is at Shay LSQ. Um, Share this with your friends, your followers. And until next week. I'll see you later. God bless you.